Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel everyone. It's been a great winner and uh, the product has come really far from when I last tested it. So today we are taking a look at Zamana Anti-Malware Premium and this product is now capable of protecting your system with real-time protection. Of course it's not meant to be your primary solution but it is meant to complement the antivirus product that you're using. So it's kind of like a bit of Malwarebytes and a bit of Hitman Pro at this point. Previously it was very similar to Hitman Pro but now they've added the real-time capability which is something that Malwarebytes premium users would be familiar with. So it's kind of like that. It's competing with both those products and I decided I'm going to give it a shot. So I have eight malware links. Some of these have really low detection rates, so it's a very realistic scenario where your antivirus may not have signatures for the threats that you're facing. And let's see what additional protection this can offer us. And as you can see, um, we have very nice user interface here and I uh, have no complaints about this whatsoever. It works, it's very smooth, it's very light, and uh, it is very easy to get started with. No unnecessary junk, it's not cluttered, and uh, it's just uh, no-nonsense user interface. So we have real-time protection active and the default action is set to quarantine. I'm also going to activate their Pandora real-time analysis technology, which is going to improve zero-day protection. Hopefully it'll do what it says. And we're just going to do a check for updates. As you can see, we have the latest version. Everything else is set to default settings. So let's get started. So the first link is being loaded up. Let's go ahead and try and run it. And nope, anti-malware blocked a dangerous file install.exe. So first one's caught and blocked. That's good. Let's proceed. Let's try running the second file, which is much larger in size. This one is blocked as well because it is unknown and has low reputation. So that's really good. Let's try the next file. Once again, dangerous file blocked. That's three out of three. This is a kind of adware or PUP. Once again, it is blocked. So it's doing a fantastic job so far. Let's continue with our links. We have three more to go after this one. Turns out this one actually has a digital signature and it has some verified publisher. Let's see what happens. It's blocked nonetheless. That's great. Hashf.exe is also blocked. So it's maintained a clean sheet so far. Two more files to go. This file was successfully able to execute, however, I don't think it worked and it didn't do any damage to the system. And the last one is blocked as well, autorun.exe. So now we're going to do a couple of uh, other second opinion scans to see if they can find anything malicious on the system. Otherwise, what I suspect is this might be a clean sheet since the only malware that ran immediately gave me an error. Now I'm not sure if it performed its action and then crashed or whether it crashed from the beginning. So we'll find that out soon enough and I'll be back with the results. Malwarebytes didn't detect anything on the system, neither did Hitman Pro, so it's safe to say that the system's clean and that Zamana Anti-Malware Premium managed a clean sheet. Now I do want to let you guys know that this is not the only test that I've been doing with this product. I have been running this product on my main system for about two weeks and I've been testing it out rigorously and so far I'm very fascinated with it and the results have been all good. This does seem to be a much better option of complementary protection than Malwarebytes Premium. It blocks a lot of threats even to such an extent that, you know, someone might even consider just running this and a HIPS program and not running an antivirus at all. Of course, I don't recommend it right now, but it's really good. I think it costs around $20 a year for one PC. 
it's a new product in the industry, so you know, just check them out. The only gripe that I have with this tool is that it does not seem to work in safe mode, which can be a problem considering this is still primarily a removal utility. But apart from that, as you saw, it does a great job of protecting the system and it has a very quick and easy scan as well, which kind of works like Headband Pro as you probably already know. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this product in the comments below and give this video a like if you did. Subscribe to the Peace Security channel for more and uh, I hope you guys have a great 2016. I'll be here as always to keep you updated in the field of security and uh, well, stay informed, stay secure.